guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Karen Sarai, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to get this look right here using the new Fenty Kilowatt Highlighting Duos. Not only did I use one, two, but I used all three of them on my eyes. I really couldn't decide which one I wanted to play with, so I decided to use all of them. So these are all the shades right here, and I literally was like, I'm just gonna throw them all in my eyes and create some type of like masterpiece on there. Um, I have not one matte shade on my eyelid, not one, shocker. Two, I don't have a nude lip. And three, we're using all metallics. So every time my head turns, it is like a different finish. Something else is going on. Like it looks like it's orange yellow and then I turn there and it's orange. So it changes with the lighting, which I think is pretty rad. But overall, my goal with this look was to just blend all the shades together. And for the lip color, I decided to go with this lip mainly because there is lavender in here. It's kind of the shade that blended everything together. It's that middle shade. So I really wanted to bring that out by adding this shade onto the lips. So I need to stop rambling we need to get into this video but before we do you guys know be sure to give this video a like comment down below and share if you guys can also if you are not subscribed I don't know why you're not I don't know why you're not just subscribe thank you so much and also be sure to turn on the bell notification so you can get notified when my videos are up and ready so without further ado let's get it going I'm gonna go in first with the ColourPop no filter concealer in the shade light 18 I like doing this first to really sculpt my brow and get the perfect arch this also really helps me so that I don't overdraw my eyebrows and just make sure that you really spread out the concealer so that it's not too heavy in certain areas. I'm going to go in next with this brow product from Lancome in the shade number 2. I'm just going to lightly brush the product through my brow. This is not only going to keep it together, but it's also going to give a little bit of color. So it's perfect if you have naturally full brows and you just want them to look a little more groomed. I'm gonna go in now with the Kat Von D 24 hour super brow in the shade medium brown and fill in my brows on the areas that I have little gaps in. And I'm not just gonna try to give myself a little bit more of a brow up here. Now I'm gonna take in the P. Louise eyeshadow base. You guys know I'm obsessed with this product for my lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this with a MAC 242 brush and just tap this all over my eye back and forth, but I'm also extending this out a little more than usual. Usually I extend it out, but today I really want it like lower and more out than the usual. I actually try to do a different base today. I was like, let me try something else. Mm. Yep. Yeah, didn't look. I'm back with this one. All right, so I'm gonna go in now with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Foil Highlighter Duos, but I'm gonna go in first with the Mint Mojito shade. I'm gonna be applying this to my inner corner eye and lid. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this product with the Smith 235 brush, and then just start lightly patting the shade up. We're gonna be taking this up pretty high. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just keep on pressing the shade. Now, normally I'm a person that likes to have a flat brush, but for this kind of a look, I do want a fluffy brush so they can really blend out the colors. We're gonna be adding a bunch of more shades, so this brush is perfect for this look. I'm gonna go in next with the shade Poolside and Seven Day Weekend. And with that same Smith 235 brush, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply this to the center of the eye, kind of pressing it over Mint Mojito and then blending up. And now I'm gonna grab that shade Seven Day Weekend and I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and kind of just pop this right in the center of the eye, just to kind of give a little zhuzh to this area. See how it just does something right there. I don't know what it's doing, but it's doing something. This one's honestly my favorite little duo. I'm gonna go in next with Mimosa Sunrise and Sangria Sunset. This is pretty much the colors I'm gonna be using all over my crease. I'm gonna start off first with Sangria Sunset, and I'm gonna tap this onto my crease, kind of going over pull side, just tapping and tapping and tapping. This is the part right here where it was a little challenging for me, mainly because I'm so used to a matte transition and I'm used to just, you know, warm tones. But so if you try this out and you are struggling, just keep on blending. I'm gonna take Mimosa in with this Morphe M501 brush and I'm gonna go and add this to the outer part of the eye. I'm just adding enough to kind of see it, but also making sure all the colors are blending together. And now I'm grabbing more Sangria Sunset and I'm just gonna tap this over the crease and kind of into the orange shade as well. Now going in with pull side and kind of just layering it over that purple. And I'm just kind of blending everything again together. This is honestly a makeup look that you need to look in different mirrors and kind of see what you need more of, what you need less of. And you just kind of just keep on building an eye look that way. So I'm just keeping it real with you guys. If you try this out and you're like, whoa, I added too much of this, 
just add more of the other color and so on. I'm grabbing the makeup wipe and just doing a very slight cleanup, especially right here. I want to let you guys know too that once I add concealer, I'm going to buff this line out. I don't really want a harsh line. I really want everything to look nice and blended. The eyes look so dope. I want you guys to know that you all are so close to me right now. Like, like the lens is like right here in my face. Um, so you guys can literally see everything. Once it's far away, it's going to look a little different, you know, but you guys can see literally every little arruga, little pimple, little hair I have. Please tell me this is not all of us. I was dying laughing right now. I always got a little bit of salsa stuck on my fingers, so I can totally relate to this. Going in next with Benefits Roller Lash. The wand has a really nice comb on there, and because I worked with a lot of colors, a lot of it's kind of stuck to my lashes still, so this is really going to remove it and ensure that the mascara coats evenly over it and kind of hides maybe any fallout that may have landed on my lashes. I'm now gonna go in with these lovely lashes in the style of Ella. These are honestly the perfect lash for this look. They are super wispy, and I love that they go from short to long. I'm gonna pop these on, and instead of going in the middle, I'm going to start on the outer corner of the eye and then work them down. I'm now gonna go ahead and pinch the lashes together, and for this look, I really want more of the focus to be out here versus up here, so. I'm gonna make sure that these aren't, too, aren't sitting up too straight. All right, so I went ahead and panned out so you guys can see how the eyes look. There's so many dimensions going on, so I'm loving this look and I can't wait to like get my face on because that's when the whole look comes together. So I went ahead and did some of my skincare off camera. I did my eye cream, which of course you guys know is my Ula Hendrickson Banana Bright Cream. And then I did the Kiehl's Glow Formula Skin Hydrator. Have this all over my skin mixed in with the Becca Shimmer Skin Perfector. So the last thing I need is a little bit of the primer, and I figured because we are using Fenty products, I'm gonna use the Fenty primer as well as the foundation. I'm gonna go ahead and add this primer onto my skin. Did about two pumps. I'm gonna add this all over. Now I'm gonna take in the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 260. We're gonna apply this on with the Fresh Clean Damp Beauty Blender. By the way, I have so much volume in my hair right now. You guys are gonna be shook. As soon as the makeup's done, I'm taking the clip off. I'm gonna whip the hair out and you're gonna be like, wow, it's literally like out to here. I love it right now. So I'll show you guys when I'm all done. I'm gonna go ahead and get this area right here where I have like little breakouts. I'm now taking in this full coverage foundation brush from, from Smashbox and just kind of blending out the foundation, which is like right here, just really making sure it's blended in evenly. And I'm now going back in with the ColourPop No Filter Concealer in the shade Light 18. I don't know if I told you guys, I feel like I haven't done a makeup video in a while, but I know I have. Um, I've been really liking these concealers. They are so great. The coverage is so good on them and I truly feel like they cover, they brighten, they really do the job. Okay, so I went ahead and made sure not to go farther than this area because I'm gonna be cleaning this line up. I don't want it to be a harsh line for this look. And I also went ahead and took the concealer down a little bit. I really wanna brighten this area up right here. So I'm now gonna grab some MAC Fix Plus and spray this all over my skin first before I blend out. Whew, I hate it. I hate it right now. And another little trick I like to do is I like to get some of the concealer onto the back of my hand because my beauty blender is really clean. I like to just kind of add some of the product on there um, so that it doesn't lift anything away. Sometimes if it's very clean and it's going directly onto a product, it can lift. So I like to just add it on there first and then go in. I'm not grabbing this brush. It's actually a ColourPop brush. This is an F12. And I'm just going in the more harder to reach areas and then lightly just tapping and buffing it out. I feel like May flew by so fast. I don't know if it's just me. This whole year has flown by so fast, but May in particular, I'm like, weren't we just in April? Like, I feel like it, it went by so, so quick. I'm over here just like, what? in the world. I'm very excited for the summer though. I have a few trips I'm going on and cool work stuff going on and things that I'm so excited about. But then I feel like summer flies by and then suddenly it's like back to school and then Christmas decorations are already out. Like it's just one of those things that I'm like, can we all slow down? Like everybody just slow down. All right, so now that we did that, I'm gonna go back in with that brush and I'm now just going to lightly just start kind of working over those shades. It's not making it too clean, but it's softening it up so I can continue working underneath now. I'm now gonna go ahead and bake my whole face with the Dermablend translucent powder. And then while, while that bakes, I'm gonna finish off my under eyes and then everything else. 
So let's go ahead and start with the main B and that's gonna be the blue shade right there. And I'm gonna pop this first in the middle just to kind of like, you know, secure the location. I'm gonna take a pull side. I'm also gonna wet the brush a little bit. I think we're just gonna add all the shades to be quite honest with you guys. I'm gonna grab the brighter purple now. I'm gonna tap this over the shade. I'm just gonna have it all blend in. Pop that blue again right in the middle. <gasps> And I'm just again doing the same thing I did on top. As you guys can see, I'm just really mixing in the colors. It's really all about making sure everything's blended and that you can really just see all the colors just slightly kind of merging in together. I'm gonna use the orange. I feel like we've neglected the orange a lot today. So, and you guys know I love my oranges. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go over some of these colors with the shade, the shade. All right, so I'm now gonna grab, I'm now gonna grab this dual sided brush from Hourglass. I'm gonna use the small side to just lightly press the translucent powder into the skin, as well as dusting the excess amount off. I do my best to push as much, I can, as much as I can into the skin, and whatever is not meant to be just goes away. I feel empanizada. I don't know if you guys know what that means um, in Spanish. It just means like when you put like, you know when you like bake fish or chicken or you bake something and it's like you gotta throw flour on there. That's what I feel I look like right now. I'm gonna grab my Hoola bronzer to do some nose contouring. No matter what kind of look we are doing, we should always snatch the nose at all times. And then now I'm gonna go in with the Marc Jacobs Tantastic Bronzer. Ooh, I'm gonna be applying this all over my cheeks and I'm taking this in with that Smashbox Buildable Cheek Brush. I love this brush. I really want the bronzer to look as soft as possible. And then now with the excess amount, whatever's on there, I'm just gonna dust this all over the skin. You can never go wrong with like a bronzy finish. And then of course, set the skin right after. This is like a must. I always set right after I do all my powders and then I go in next with the highlight and then set after that. I do a lot of setting, but it really makes a big difference. All right, so I went ahead and did a little bit of white eyeliner on this eye just to kind of see if I liked it because I wasn't sure which color to go with. Um, I was in between blue or the white, so I'm really happy the white looks good. It just kind of brightens up the eyes, makes it look a little more open. Now you can add it, like even right here, I just added it there. You could do it just right there to open up this center part, but I'm just gonna add it all over and I make sure I'm very careful to not get it on my lashes because that's not good. And then now going back in with roller lash right in the center of the eye. Just do a pretty light amount. I'm gonna grab my little lash separator and just comb through this. Separate any other clumps. You know what, I'm now realizing that I probably should have done individual lashes for this look to make it look a little more softer and kind of go with the eye makeup, but it's okay. It's okay. Next look, I will definitely do individuals for you guys. So for the highlight, I'm gonna be using the shade Sandcastle that's in this duo. For that, I'm gonna be taking in this Japanesque 721 brush. I'm also gonna hit my collarbone area since we have it popping out today. All right, so we're moving on to the last and final product and that is gonna be the lip colors. You guys, hold on to your seat. You guys are about to be shocked. I'm not doing nude. I'm not doing nude. Everybody needs to be shocked right now. Everybody should be happy for me. Like, I'm not doing nude in this video. So I'm actually doing completely opposite of anything I've ever done, and this is the shade Cheetah. I feel like this would go so good with the eye. So I really wanted to do an orange, but my heart is really sold on this lavender shade. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of that highlight right above my Cupid's bow. I'm gonna go in first with the ColourPop Luxe Lipstick in the shade Cheetah. I'm here for this. And now I'm gonna go in with this lip liner from Makeup Forever. This is called Versatile Versatile Violet. Um, it's part of their new Artist Color Pencils, so you can use these on your eyebrows, your eyes, your lips, anywhere you want. They came out with a range of color, literally so many shades. So I really wanna play with them. Um, Makeup Forever has really, really good products, so I'm excited to try these out today. This is obviously violet compared to the lip, but I like a little bit of that contrast with lip pencils. So I think this is gonna complement it pretty well. And then to finish the lip, we're gonna go in with the Double Agent Lip Gloss from ColourPop. You guys see all the reflects in there? 
Oh, this is gonna look bomb. So because this is a regular lipstick, what I like to do is actually add the gloss to the back of my hand. Pretty much like that. I went in and out four times. And then from there, I like to go with the brush and add it on. Oh, yes. I love, love, love the way this makeup came out. Wow. You guys, we did this. We did this at 2.47 in the morning. We did this. I'm gonna do last minute touch-ups, brush out this hair, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, we are all done with this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are loving this look. Would you rock it? You know, share with me your guys' thoughts. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah.